I've got a video totally different than what I usually do. No cooking today. Got Tammy with me. Hi. We're in St. Mary's, Georgia. Got the RV out. And the folks at New Air, full disclosure, sent me this 24 inch misting fan. Everybody knows that watches my channel. I do all my cooks outside. We're in Florida. It's uh, I think 88 today. It was 96 yesterday. We're just the end of May, June, July, August easily a hundred. It's pretty darn hot out. Gets pretty darn hot out. So I'm anxious to get this fan together, get it turned on. Perfect place. It's hot today to see how it works. Hope you stay with me. Now this is a fairly large fan, 24 inches. Um, you can adjust the mist. It has three fan speeds and the thing can oscillate if you wanted to. So it'll rotate back and forth to cover a large area. Now the fan comes packaged in two boxes. Uh, the one I'm opening here, this is the base and the water unit. The and then the other box, of course, has the fan unit itself and the base, all the wiring and the plumbing. It's very well packed, you can see, in styrofoam. Well, this box is uh, a bit heavy. Uh, I did pick it up by myself, uh, but it would certainly work better with two people. Here I've got all the parts out on the table. You can see the base, the water unit. Here in the center is the shaft and the pump. And then of course down here on the end is the fan unit itself. Now the packaging on this is quite good. You can see these little uh, uh, red kind of like spacer units that go from the top to the bottom of the fan, go across it. And this is so during shipping it can't get smashed. There's three of them in here. They're secured with uh, bread ties. Now this would definitely be easier to put together if you had two people, but with that said, I was able to, uh, you know, assemble the whole thing by myself. To hold the lower part of the shaft to the base, there's four bolts uh, with some washers and nuts. Now, I'm in the RV. I didn't bring any tools. The only thing I have in here is a pair of pliers, a pair of channel locks, and, some, and a screwdriver. So look, I'm not very handy, but even I know I should be using a wrench or some sockets, but I don't have that with me. We're going to make these pliers and these channel locks do the job for us today. There's just two screws to remove here to get this panel off. And what this panel does is on the back side is where the wiring comes up from the bottom. It also acts as the attachment from the fan to come from the top, and it also is the connection point for all of the plumbing. And then this white knob, of course, controls the mist. So let me just set this to the side. And now we need to route uh, the plumbing and the electrical connection from this uh, bump that will be sitting at the bottom up through the shaft where we just removed this uh, connector panel. We'll just pop our uh, plumbing connection in. Fairly simple to do. Now we'll mount the second piece of the shaft to the uh, fan motor head. There's just a couple of screws here and one bolt. Again, uh, pretty simple to put together. Then you want to route these uh, electrical connection down through the shaft. And now I need to route these water hoses uh, down through the top part of the shaft. And you'll notice there's two of them, right? One of these hoses brings water to the fan. And then for any, you know, water that drips down, there's a little catch. And it funnels it back down into the water basin and recycles it so that you're not wasting water. Now we just want to make our electrical connection here, which, uh, you know, runs from the bottom pump up to the fan. We'll connect up all of our water hoses and then proceed to assembling the top and bottom parts of this shaft. Now we just want to put our uh, control uh, back on this guy. Now what this white knob does is it controls the amount of water flow up to from the reservoir up to the fan. So you actually have adjustment, you know, you can have like max misting or minimal misting. Of course, you know, you can turn the mist off altogether as well. Just uh, slid the top shaft down into the bottom part here. We have two bolts that I'll tighten up. Then we'll be ready to set this guy up and give it a try. We've got one final nut to tighten up here at the, you know, the, uh, the head of this fan. And 
and now we're filling our water reservoir up for this misting fan. Just get it set here on the base. Get our pump down inside it. There's a, I know you can't see it in the video here, but there's a little like a cutout recessed area in the bottom of this where the pump sits. It's got some suction cups on it so that it uh, stands up properly. Get the lid here on this guy. I'm about anxious to give it a try. It's pretty hot out here. I got our fan all assembled, got the water in it. This guy's got three speeds. I just want to show you. And I'm, uh, what is it? My microphone is about uh, a foot away. So you can hear it a little bit loud. So that's what they call speed one, or what I would call low. Now I want you to look, Tammy's about nine or 10 feet away. You can see it's blowing her hair pretty good there on the second speed. And then here's speed three. That's really strong. You can see it's got nice, nice airflow. Like I say, she's roughly 10 feet away. I don't have a major take to major. And you can also rotate this guy. Just loosen this up. Tighten her back, you can see she's rotating. See it's spraying the mist out the front. I'd like to thank the folks at New Air for sending this out to me. I'm telling you, I think we're really going to enjoy it. We camp a lot. It's Florida. I'm another couple of feet from Tammy. It's on high. I can feel the mist. I can feel the, the breeze. Awesome.